Hi, today I'm going to show you how to do the 5 speed manual swap on your Crown Vic. So, to do it, you need obviously 94 plus Mustang GT pedal assembly, your very own Crown Vic pedal, and this is the final result. So, Let's start with your Kronvik brake pedal. From 92 all the way to 2004, they're pretty much the same, except that uh, starting in 05, Ford uh, started to use electric adjustable pedals, so the housing is not exactly the same, but I mean, the procedure should remain basically the same. Uh, as you can see, the main difference here is the pedal itself. This this one is from a 97, it's straight. This one is out of a 04. So that's why it has an angle like that. I think it's the only here that is different. Also, the shape of the housing is a little bit different, but it doesn't really matter at the end. So, this is for the Crown Vic. Now, from 94 to 2004 they're basically all the same regardless of some difference here and there but basically speaking the only thing you really need here is the shaft the pedal and the neutral safety switch everything else brake light switch ABS or whatever you can discard it you don't need it at all so once we have a bare unit like that bare housing you wanna cut a section of two inch here all the way to the tool make it square same on the other side so you wanna have a section of two inch like this so it acts like a reinforcement plate here because as you can see here if you're trying to mount the tube directly on it there's not enough surface to, go to uh, offer good uh, support so this is why you need the reinforcement plate so it should be basically sitting like this so here we have it. Now the reinforcement plate should be located at 2.4 inch from this edge here. And again be careful because here they are not all the same from the 97 to, to uh, the 2004. The edge is not exactly the same but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be that spot on with the measurements so stick with 2.4 inch and make sure it's it's square obviously with the rest of the unit and here the tube will be sitting at 3.2 inch from the edge here again now as far as this me measurements uh, it should be sticking out at 1.2 inch from the edge here of the reinforcement plate to the end of the tube. Now if you put this section center to center on the housing like here it should not be a problem if you follow my measurements even though uh, I would highly suggest you that before you do anything that you just use a C-clamp put it on it and just test the unit in your car make sure that you have a good clearance here if you follow the measurements you should be getting almost half of an inch uh, at the end here from uh, the tip here to the PCM so it's not a, it's not a problem same thing here for the, uh, the the clearance if you follow the measurements this shaft here the uh, the quadrant shouldn't be rubbing on the dash you should have like a good half an inch also there so this is very important that you have 3.2 inch and 1.2 here. Again, just try it before you do anything to make sure that you have it. Now here, 
you have the uh, clutch quadrant which is the factory one it's made of plastic uh, my best advice regarding this is to ditch that part right away don't even think about using it because uh, it's it's not that great it's made of plastic it flex a lot and it's not really that great when you're you're driving it if you get the uh, aluminum one from Steeda or uh, whatever brand doesn't matter uh, you will see a good improvement in pedal effort and uh, and shift so again just ditch that out when you will be taking the tube out the housing like we have here this is a tube that came from this unit uh, when you will be pulling the shaft out of the tube uh, the edge here are a little bit sharp so you might have the bushing stick on that section so just be careful be gentle just pry it out because you, you might you might break the plastic bushing they're still available at Ford they're on for like 2 to 50 each so it's not really a problem if you break one but as long as they're still available so just be careful with this if you have a file just make sure that the uh, sharp edge are gone so this is quadrant now the clutch pedal this is the stock one but we need to do some minor modification right here because uh, for two things we need to round out this section here like this because we will be using the uh, neutral safety switch here and you don't want to have a sharp edge on it and also because the pedal is just too long I mean you're still using full length of the pedal but you will have to relocate uh, the pad further up here because it will hit the floor before you go all the way through uh, disengagement with this so just with a grinder and a file just round out this section here and as far as the new position it, does, it doesn't really matter you don't have to be exact spot on but just to give you an idea the new metal section is exactly at this bend here so just with the grinder just cut this section out and relocate the pad as you can see it has an angle here so if you want to try to stick with as close as possible you're gonna have to offset the pad here so it goes almost at the same position so by using another piece of metal you can put it there use it as a reinforcement and you're good to go now for those of you that want to use a neutral safety switch which I highly recommend uh, you will be getting this whole unit from your Mustang unit so it comes with a little bracket that has some adjustability in it so you have to just cut this section here and this is how it goes so this is why it is important that you have a sharp uh, a round edge here just for the fact Now here you have the stopper that makes the pedal sit at the same height. So it's just a matter of having the two like almost even in angle and then you can reuse some of the section here like I did. You just got another section and you can reuse it right here. Now as you can see so far it's still pretty simple now we have to fix a little issue that we have here 
this is the uh, brake light switch so that used to be the stock location obviously it's not gonna go there anymore so it's either you, uh, you use one of those micro switch you have an example here you can use this design or this one it doesn't really matter uh, I've been using this for years it never failed on me so it, it's it's gonna be working without any problems that's not even a, a problem it's just that you have to make your own little bracket and I mean this one is a little bit simple because you have to um, basically just drill a hole will be sitting right there and then you will have to make your very own little bracket though as you can see here so it it makes contact with it so it's just a matter of adjusting the pedal that used to be for a uh, ABS switch here I have to make it for the customer so once you know it's there you only have to make sure it's at the proper height so it makes contact with that bracket here it's no more complicated than that so that's pretty much about it for the housing <clears throat> as you already noticed uh, as I was telling you um, the Crown Vic is obviously a big brake pedal so never mind using it on it so you will have to cut the section behind it remove the large pad and replace it with the Mustang one uh, you cannot reuse uh, uh, the brake pedal from the Mustang unit because the shaft here is it's it, it's too uh, large and anyways uh, the pivot here is not located at the same spot so it will require more work to modify this than to take just the pad and put it back on the Crown Vic brake. Um, also here the uh, the rubber pads are pretty worn out and they're pretty much all in this condition whenever you get a new set of pedals from the Mustang. So just get those at four, they're, they're running for like 15 bucks each. It's a little bit pricey but at least it looks good makes a job so guys that's pretty much about it so let's see again the neutral safety switch the quadrant is not sitting there but as I told you I'm highly recommending to use the uh, aluminum clutch quadrant from Ford Racing or Steeda And you have the brake. So I hope, guys, you enjoyed it. it. It's gonna help you doing your pedals. If you have any information regarding this, just PM me. If you want me to make you uh, a set of pedal, I do make some pedal for anybody that is requesting one. So just call, uh, well, just PM me for pricing and uh, and such. So, thanks for watching guys.